going to get to the title race now, though. Pep Guardiola and Mikel Arteta both been speaking today ahead of the weekend's action. Gail Davies is standing by to talk to us from Arsenal's training ground. First to Manchester and our senior reporter, Melissa Reddy. Good afternoon. City against Leeds tomorrow. But the dynamic, the whole kind of atmosphere about this game has changed a bit, hasn't it, with Leeds appointing Sam Allardyce this week? What did Pep make of it? Yeah, Pep Guardiola was reminded that he's won four of his previous meetings with Sam Allardyce, but he was quick to dismiss that as the past, and it will have no bearing tomorrow, he said. He's expecting that Leeds will shake things up. He's not sure what personnel Allardyce will opt for, what he'll do tactically, and so he suspects City might have a difficult 10 to 15 minutes trying to adapt and work out what it is that Allardyce is trying to do. Now, to hear Pep detail that and the new manager bounce, here he is. It's the past, so always the, the impact a new manager in the, and the players in the first one or two games, of course, they are playing, every, every, every team is playing for, for important things, but of course, leads to stay here, the impact always is huge. I don't know the system is going to play. We don't have any info because we have to adapt quick after 10, 15 minutes. What we can imagine what uh, is trying to do against us, and and again, it's a massive, massive, important game for us. And it's a massive, massive important week, to use Pep's phrase, in City season with Real Madrid coming up in the Champions League semi-final first leg. On Tuesday, rotation time, Melissa? Well, you know what? Pep Guardiola has such strength in depth. The quality there is unbelievable that he can afford to rotate without any drop in performance levels, whether Real Madrid are on the horizon or not. Now, this City team is so relentless and they're so used to playing a lot of games and competing for top honours towards the end of the season that they'll take all this in their stride. But Guardiola did mention that he saw some exhaustion in his players after the victories over Fulham and West Ham. So he could be thinking of shuffling his pack, but to explain that, here he is. So it's a lot of games with a lot of tension. You have to see today, yesterday, I saw the team really tired uh, after because the, the mending from uh, Fulham and West Ham was, was so big. And I have to see how the players are, you know, how they recover this again, just three days in the previous games, and how my 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 decision will be focusing in how they are physical and mental to play that game and after Madrid because again it's so Premier League is so nice it's so important tomorrow to go you know four points in front uh, Arsenal. And, and it's really, really important. And all focus is, is in the game tomorrow. And to help City go four points clear as Guardiola demands will be Kevin De Bruyne. The midfielder returned to training yesterday. He will be part of team training today. And he'll be assessed ahead of Leeds now. De Bruyne will be itching to start, and I'm sure you guys in studio are itching to give us more build-up, especially from Arsenal's end of the title talk. 